Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terror. I hope everyone is well. At least better than me right now. Oh. It's time for the weekend top and bottom. Because it's Friday. For those of you who have not gotten the second half of June reading, I do apologize. I got some medical crap going on right now. And, uh, it's real hard to be in one position for very long and I spent a lot of yesterday in bed with my feet elevated um, so couldn't be sitting at the table reading cards um, it's a medical crap going on right now and as soon as my insurance company finds me a doctor with a network that's not an idiot and a pill pusher. I'll go. Until then, I'm not going. I know what's happening. I watched it happen to my grandparents and my parents. I'm leaving it at that. We're not talking about me. We're talking about you. It is the weekend top and bottom reading. Those of you who are new here, I did this by the Elements. It's like a general zodiac sign reading. If it resonates, cool. If it don't, it's not your story. Stay through to the end. Check your moon rising your Venus sign readings. I am booked on personal readings right now. I'm still sorting through emails and responding as I receive them. So if you received a re if you sent a request for a reading and I have not talked to you yet via email, it is coming. It is on its way. Just gotta give me some time. I apologize. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. They play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Cross watchers are always welcome here. Until I haven't played with my cards for a couple of days. I feel the need to shuffle all of them before I get started. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's going on with you guys this weekend? Short, sweet, and to the point. Queen of Swords reversed. Temperance in the upright. Somebody's got a bad attitude. Could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. The Temperance card is an indication of patience. It's also an indication of positive energy flow. Things going the way they're supposed to be going. Let's figure out why... You or someone you're dealing with has such a bad attitude about that. All right. What happened a while ago? King of Swords upright. Hierophant in reverse. Someone had to make a logical head over heart decision. Disconnect in a blessed union. Okay. I think I know where this is going. You may have to clarify. Fast forward a little bit. Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Finding your self-worth again. But the painful cycle just isn't ending. The sun won't shine. It still hurts. Yeah? still hurts. Maybe the person you're dealing with is finding their self-worth again. You're still in a lot of pain. Alright, what's going on this weekend? I 
Four of Pentacles, Upright, Three of Cups, Reversed. Still harboring some emotions. Emotions. Oh, wow. Not so harmonious. Not in a celebration kind of mood. Why is the King of Swords parapet reversed here? Hermit might be a Virgo. <laughs> you had to go inside, kind of self isolate, introspect to figure out what needed to be done. One or both of you may have gone on a little bit of a spiritual journey. Probably came to the conclusion that a logical head over heart decision was in order. And the disconnect had to happen. Why is the Queen of Pentacles upright, Ten of Swords reversed here? Ten of Pentacles reversed. Possibly a breakdown of the family, possibly a breakdown of the home. And maybe you haven't felt much like working. Financial issues. Take it however it resonates. The other person appears to be doing very well, you're not doing so well. Or vice versa. Why is the Four of Pentacles, Three of Cups here? Wheel of Fortune popped out in the reverse. You may be feeling the downward effects this weekend. You're still harboring those emotions, not feeling so celebratory. Don't let your karmic wheel go down. And your advice, the world in the reverse, two of pentacles in the reverse. You can go round and round in your head about it. All you want. What is done is done. All the emotional juggling in the world isn't gonna change anything. And the only one with the power to put this cycle to an end now is you. You have the power to make the sun shine again. You have the power to bring happiness and stability back into your life. You're the only one with that kind of power. Ace of Swords Upright, Seven of Swords Upright. Don't quite know what this is about. But this part's for whoever needs it. If something seems a little bit shady when something new comes along, beware. Beware. One more. Six of Cups in the upright, Ten of Cups in the reverse. Take the happy memories with you. You may not have gotten your happy ending, but you have a lot of happy memories. Care okay, signs, this is what we have for you. Next. If I could figure out lighting to be able to lay in bed with my feet up, I'd be able to sit and read cards all day long but I have to elevate my feet above, like, my chest, so it's kind of awkward sitting and reading cards like that. All right, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio.
Ten of Swords, Judgment in the Reverse. That looks like it hurt. But you lived through it. Sun shining again. And we have a Judgment Reverse, so there, there's a potential comeback around this weekend. For all of you who just cringed, I felt that. I felt that. My Venus is in Scorpio, lest us not forget. Page of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. In the past, there was cute little messages. I think it kind of maybe fed egos a little bit. Made you feel like you're on top of the world, you're a million bucks. Not that you didn't already know it yourself, water signs, but you guys know you're the catch. You're amazing. Fast forward, Seven of Wands, Empress reversed. Someone tried to take control. Ended up not going anywhere. I think y'all wanted it to, but it just didn't. All right. There's a little bit of combative energy there. All right, what's going on this weekend? Death in the upright, seven of pentacles in the reverse. Change. Hmm. I like the death card. Death card's cool. Represents Scorpio. It's, it's a card that talks about metamorphosis. The chubby little caterpillar goes into the cocoon, comes out a butterfly, you know, that fun stuff. Something's going to happen this weekend. And it's going to be an evolution. Could be that aha moment. Either you or them having it. But my question is, why is the Seven of Pentacles reversed here? Because... That's the, this isn't going to go anywhere. We already established it wasn't going anywhere. Hmm. All right. Why is the death card here? It was so cute in the beginning. It made you feel good. And then... Somebody side, you know, it was like sideswiped you out of nowhere to like stop the truck. Wait a minute. Now we're here. Why is the death card here? Lovers in the reverse. The star in the reverse. Could be a Gemini. Could be an Aquarius. Who knows? Someone may make an attempt to come back around, but water signs, I think you have metamorphosized and you have changed and you have gone beyond it. The lover's reverse indicates a connection not mutually felt. It's there, but it's not mutually felt. I think this person may have been a soulmate. They came into your life, helped you have an aha moment, and then they left, and now you get another aha moment. I think this aha moment is that you haven't healed yet. Or they haven't. Take it however it resonates. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Hi.
You ain't got the patience for it. You ain't waiting around for it. Seven of Pentacles, reverse. Three of Wands, reverse. You done. You got through the painful part. That hurt. It sucked. The sun is shining in your life again. You do not have time for comeback arounds. And wishy-washy stuff. Maybe you're their aha moment this weekend. The water signs. Who knows? That's more air sign energy, by the way. Okay, what's your advice? Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. Oh, I like it. I like it. Someone tries to come back. This is this is the in and out of your life card. This is the Playboy. You know what this is? Action being taken. This is messages of what you're gonna do if they keep wanting to come in and out. I think somebody needs to lay down the law here. Just, just a little. Lay down the law. Like, listen, you know what? You're gonna keep coming in and out. You you need to make a decision. I know what I want. You need to figure out what you want. The King of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Speaking of, it's just saying the same darn thing, except a little bit louder. Until someone wants to genuinely come into your life and stay, continually fill your cup. This is, this is another one that's notorious for coming in, filling the cup, and leaving. Know what you want. Go after what you want. Settle for nothing less. And sometimes you got to kind of be a dick about it. Sometimes. Water signs is what I have for you. Are you afraid to tell somebody to kick rocks so they keep coming in and out of your life? Say, I'm finally feeling good. I don't need you, you know, slipping on my feet like a pair of cement shoes dragging me down. You don't need that. You don't need that. Who needs that? Nobody needs that. Fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh shit. King of Wands reversed. Two swords in the upright. Someone's finally taking a blindfold off and making a decision to avoid conflict that's how I'm seeing that right now that could change as these get laid out I'm sensing avoidance of conflict in the past we have a four of cups and a queen of cups in the reverse someone couldn't see what they were being handed either by another person or by the universe they spent a lot of time concentrating on the coulda wouldas and the shouldas And now you got a cup of didn't. Okay. And that's the swing cup. It's either what could have been or what will never be. You know. Depends on who's giving you the cup. Right now, and this this is my favorite, my favorite rendition of the Queen of Cups because she's got one cup up in the air waiting to be filled, and she has another cup being spilt. It's all a matter of perspective. She's not happy. 
she's spilling cups all over the place right now. I can spill my own cup. I don't need you to do it. Somebody became emotionally withdrawn. Emotionally closed off. Fast forward a little. We have a magician in the reverse. We have strength. Magician in the reverse. It could be the puppet master. Someone being manipulative, pulling strings, or it can just be something as simple as it didn't manifest the way you wanted it to. You did everything you could. You did everything you knew. It just didn't happen. Strength speaks of the polarities in a relationship. Of the differences make it beautiful. It also speaks of trust. It speaks of two very different beings coming into each coming into each other's lives and help each helping each other. You got hurt, Paul. She just pulled something very big and sharp out of it. I really can't see it. I don't have my glasses on. That's trust. That lion can rip her head off at any time and she knows it, but she's still helping him. Let's trust. So I think it took a while. The trust was restored here. Coming in for this weekend. Oh, my fire sign friends. Oh, friends. Page of Cups reversed and an Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Could be you, could be the other person. Not taking a cup passing up an offer because something bigger and better is on the horizon. Why is the magician reversed here? Six of Wands reversed. Didn't go the way you wanted it to. Didn't get a victory. Why strength here? Three of Wands reversed. There's trust. So there's, there's a bond there. You'll forever be connected. But somebody's got to wait around for it. Somebody bowed out and walked away from the dock because it didn't work out the way they wanted it to. And they came in, they healed each other, they left. Why is Page of Cups here reversed? The Emperor and the Wheel for uh, sorry, the Emperor and the World. Cycle's gonna close out this weekend. Someone's gonna decide to open their eyes and avoid confrontation because there's bigger and better things on the horizon. I see this emperor right now is keeping a handle on it and being the bigger person. You're doing you, and you're going to let them do them. That's good. 
proud of you, fire signs. I'm proud of you. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? That's a hard pill to swallow. Deep down on the inside, it could be a Libra. Deep down on the inside, you're thinking to yourself, this is not fair. I did everything I could. Why didn't this work out? All right, talk if you're going to talk. Thank you. Six of Cups, and you have wonderful, happy memories with this person. But it just wasn't balanced. It wasn't going to work. There's something better coming for both of you, fire signs. It didn't work because it wasn't supposed to. And sometimes you just have to be the bigger person and allow it to come to an end. Your advice, Four of Swords and Eight of Wands. The faster you lay it to rest, the faster you will move forward. King of Swords reversed, Ten of Swords reversed. This is hard. Fire signs are weird when it comes to emotions. We are. Especially when we don't get what we want. I can testify to this because I are one. This is hard. But you have to listen to me. The longer you stay emotionally entangled with this, the longer it's going to take before the sun shines again. What did I just say? The sooner you lay it to rest, the faster you're going to move on. The longer you drag this out for yourself, the longer it's going to take for the sun to come back out again. There's bigger, better things coming for you. You need to separate the, the sour feelings out of it and be the bigger person and move forward. Allow it to close out. Eight of Pentacles reversed, five of Pentacles in the other. You worry about you, taking care of you, dealing with you, and don't put energy and in work into things that don't serve you. Because you're going to end up out in the cold with the wrong people. Taking care of you also means taking care of business. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take care of business. All right. Fire signs. That was yours. On to the earth signs. And then I have to get up and walk around. Don't freak out. I'm not freaking out. Okay, maybe I'm freaking out a little bit. If I'm talking about going to a doctor, I'm freaking out a little bit. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ace of Cups reversed, Nine of Wands reversed.
The cup has been tipped over. You're spent. You got nothing left. Throwing in the towel. Okay. Tell me what happened. Empress reverse, two of wands in the upright. Something didn't grow. Something didn't work out. You had to let go of the wand of the past and move forward. Okay. This could have been a relationship that you really wanted. It could have been a family situation. It could be someone you have a child with. Take it however it resonates. You had to move forward. Fast forward. The chariot and the Hierophant. Okay. Time, distance, getting on down the road, West Union. Could be a Cancer or a Taurus or a Gemini you're dealing with at this point. I have a little bit of fire and a little bit of water. to clarify that. I'm feeling like there was a distance here. You probably married other people. What's going on this weekend? I'll clarify once all the cards are out. Queen of Cups and the Seven of Cups. She's holding a big cup. That's like one of those punch bowls you see at New Year's Eve parties. Okay? She's holding a punch bowl of love. So we have a punch bowl of love leading to confusion. Okay. Got nothing left. The cup's been done, kicked over. Confusion. Why is the chariot here? Thanks. Princess of Pentacles. Think y'all put some time and some distance between y'all. I don't think that princess is holding a new offer. I think that princess is holding an apology. There's a hair in here. Three of swords reversed. Eight of pentacles reversed. Oh, wow. That old pulp taught an important life lesson, didn't he? You know what a Band-Aid marriage is? You not have necessarily a marriage. It, it's the relationship that you go running into after you've had your heart so obliterated. You just run to the first thing you see so that never happens to you again. Not a good thing.
somebody comes in with an apology, the union that you ran into, all of a sudden nobody's putting work in. One more was three swords of earth here. I knew the earth signs were going to screw with me today. Really? Hi, Priestess. Powerful connection. You had to listen to what your intuition was telling you. Oh, wow. Why is the Queen of Cups here? That Band-Aid's going to hurt when you got to rip it off, isn't it? That's going to hurt. And that Band-Aid's been on there for a while. This weekend we have the star, we have healing, we have positive energy flow, we have wish fulfillment. Could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. Powerful connection, something coming to fruition. One more. And this is where the cup gets kicked back over again. This is not going to last. Or it has the potential to not be lasting. Because that Prince of Cups comes in with a cup and then leaves with a cup. And then we have confusion. Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Hermit reversed. Oh boy. Confusion. Isolation. That's a long weekend with 80s movies and cookie dough ice cream, isn't it? King of Swords. Princess of Cups reversed. Okay. Well, here's the good news. Here's the good news, Earth signs. Rip the band. Come back with the apology. Rip the band aid off. Oh, I got what I wanted, but then it left again. You're left confused. You just want to stick your head in the sand, watch 80s movies, eat cookie dough ice cream, drink beer, and cry. I'm never giving my cup to anyone ever again.
the King of Swords is here. The King of Swords is the only one that doesn't fit. Why is the King of Swords here? The lover's reversed. Okay. That King of Swords is the best friend. You're not going to be alone this weekend. For whoever this is resonating with, I'm not sure who this message is for, but this is pretty beautiful right here. The King of Swords is your best friend. It's the logic through it all. It didn't work out the first time around. Did we really think it was going to work out the second time around? I toileted something that could had the potential to be beautiful. Did it really? Did it really? This weekend, you're going to come to a state of logic. Being able to sort through it. Extreme introspection. Don't go overboard, though. Don't have too much fun. And your advice. Prince of Wands, Three of Wands, and the Reverse. If someone is continually in and out of your life, it's probably not a good idea for to wait for them to stick around. The sun in the upright and the alchemist in the reverse. If you want to manifest happiness into your life, you have to manifest happiness into your life. You're responsible for your own rerun. If you allow things to continually come back that are not good for you, it's going to be real hard to manifest happiness. The same. You have to allow that logic processor to work this weekend. One more. Eight of Cups, Upright, and the Five of Swords reversed. Don't even try to pick the pieces up. And don't try to put them back together. It's time to just walk away. If they keep coming back in with the same tune... And then leaving with the same tune. It's time for you to start walking the other way. So you're not there for them to return to again. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you get it? You gotta start walking the other way. As long as you hang out and wait for it to come back, it'll keep coming back. That's not manifesting happiness. Okay. Love you guys. I gotta go take care of business real quick. Um, try to get some until the end of June is done at this point. I love you guys and God bless your patience. Thank you so much for everything. Thanks for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys Monday.